Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Dos Bros Adventures and today we're going to take you into a 1920s hotel perfect getaway here in Hermosa Beach, California. And remember, all our videos have closed caption in many different languages. Excuse the typos as they are created electronically. The Verpalat Hotel is a great place to go see all the activities and restaurants by the beach. And come home to your private piece on the strand. We had a great time here and one of the staff members named Jay gave us a tour and a history about the hotel. And we'll tell you all about it and all the fun things you can do here in Hermosa Beach, California. Life is beautiful, so come see it with those pros. It sure was a great time. And don't forget to check out our other videos on great things to do in California. Check out this photo, guys, from back in the days Hermosa Beach. Here you can see that the hotel apartments were just surrounded by, you know, one-story houses. It was one of the biggest buildings around. And our good friend Jay was telling us all about the story of the hotel. And he was telling us that the owner, William P. Burpilet, I hope I pronounced that right, that he was a con. He will do all kinds of business up, like pretending that he was a doctor and stuff like that in other places and then moving from place to place to not get caught. And eventually he was caught in 1925 and sent to prison. But it was crazy because he was still running his business from prison. And today Hermosa is one of the gorgeous beaches around the South Bay. Since it's the home of a lot of the restaurants and nightclubs around, especially on the pier. The Hermosa Pier is not just home for nightclubs, it is also home for events like the 4th of July. Even in the World Cup, it was great just being here full of people, all the restaurants had the games, and the, it was great. The Burpee Lad back in the days was a prominent building on the Strand. And let me tell you guys, the building hasn't changed much in over 100 years, but it's okay, you'll see the inside. You'll see how great this one is. It's like stepping into the 1920s building, you know, like in the movies or novels. And also back in the days, the Burpee Lad and another hotel will have young boys just setting up umbrellas on the beach and they will pick them up at the end of the day. And as you can see, it was a great spot for people to come and just hang out around the beach. Around those times, people were trying to get away from the heat on their houses because uh, air conditioning was almost unexistent in those times. All right, guys, let's go check out the place from the inside. It might not be as modern as other places around, but the price is right and location, location, location is way better than some other places around. Here we go, guys. Let's open the door and let's step into the 1920s. And like I said before, the building hasn't changed much in 100 years. But as soon as you walk in, you can see all the artifacts from uh, back in the 1920s. And it's very clean, I got to tell you. Here you can see a cash register, a telephone from back in the days. Man, I remember I still use one of those. Uh, the more modern ones, but one of those. And once you walk to the hallways, you can check out the place. It's pretty nice. And here's our room, guys. Let's go check it out. This is what I was telling you. As soon as you come in, you can see that the room is well taken care of. It's pretty clean and feels really cozy. And I'm not sure if it's just the windows, but this room with the, all the white, it looks pretty bright. And it's very cool that it's decorated with some of the things from back in the days. And what we like about this place too is that you don't only have the room and the bed, you have the kitchen, the fridge, and it doesn't have a nice view from this side because we got the back uh, room of the house, but you can still get a glimpse of the ocean right here. Check it out. And later on in the video, we'll show you the apartments that are right in front of the building. And while I'll show you the room a little more, I'll tell you something more about this place. Since back in the days, the Burpilat was a combination of hotel rooms and apartments. And it included the linens and kitchenware. And also, as you could see in some of the old photos, the Burpilat was surrounded by many producing oils that were working at the time. And there were many buildings around, but there were only one story. This was actually three stories and it was one of the biggest buildings around. And another small but big thing about this place is that when Jay showed us the room, he also told us that there were some snacks and drinks here just for us and no charge. Not like other fancy little places that, you know, hey, it's like $10 just to get some snacks. We were just in another hotel in Las Vegas just recently and even in the fridge I had a sticker that says that if you touch it, it's yours. You bought it already. That's ridiculous. And here you go, guys. We don't have video of it, but we have some photos of the bigger apartments. These are larger apartments. This is a view from the outside window where you can come and hang out after a good day at the pier or just hang out and relax after a beach day. These larger apartments, you have a living room, you have a bathroom, kitchen, and you also have a room or two that is different from the other smaller apartments. And check it out, guys. In the second floor, there's a little spot where you can come and hang out, play some pool, get some drinks, watch TV, or just watch the ocean here because there's an ocean front window. And from here, you can probably watch the beautiful Hermosa Beach sunset that goes in the afternoons. Or you can just watch the people going in the strand or playing on the beach. And seriously, guys, just walking around this premises, it just feels like you're back in the 1920s again. But let's go check out the outside and show you around what's around here and what's to do. 
The Burpilai Hotel is maybe just two or three blocks away from the Hermosa Beach Pier, which is great. Location, location, location. And like I said before, the pricing is great. I don't think it can be beat by any of the places around here in Hermosa Beach. Unless you guys know of one, please let us know in the comments so we can check it out. Being so close to the Hermosa Pier is great because you can just walk around to the restaurants and there's always something going on here. On Sundays and every Sunday of every month, right here in that place in the corner, they have something called the Silent Disco Night which is pretty great, you guys should check it out. We did it like a month ago, it was really great. They have like six DJs around the place and you get your headphones and you can hear, you know, whichever DJ you like to hear, but nobody knows which DJ you're hearing, but everybody's just having a great time. You should check it out. And this little corner gets set up really nice for that day. And it's right in front of the beach too. And for those of you guys who have been being here and wanna check out the pier, let's go, let's go check it out. The Hermosa Beach Pier, back in the 20th century, it looked a little different than what it is now. Back in those days, the pier was a complex structure with uh, some commercial buildings around the base of the pier. Housing also a library and the chamber of commerce here. And guys, the video is not over yet on what you can do and how to stay here in this great place of the Burpilat and Hermosa Beach. But you know how YouTube is. And if you'd like to help this channel grow, please press the like button and subscribe so YouTube can keep promoting this video and show other travelers this great spot. And here's another detail about the pier from back in the days. I don't know if you guys noticed in the photo, but the pier had pergolas on the side of the pier. I thought it looked pretty great back in the day. I wonder why they took those out. They actually look more lively. If anybody here knows why they took it out, please let us know in the comments and let us know and give us a, you know, some history right there. And the Hermosa Beach Pier is a great place to be here during sunset. It's just the nice feel you know, of the ocean breeze and how it looks. It's just, you know, it's just having a great time. It's just another reason why to come here to the Burpilat Apartments and just you know, stay a few days, a few nights, and uh, enjoy your muscle beach. All right, guys, this is our full review of the Burpilat Hotel. It was great. You know, it's not that modern, but it's just perfect. And it has that 1920s look, which it was great. And again, it's a great deal and you can't beat the location. Location, 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 guys. It's perfect, check it out. This is really a great place to stay in Hermosa Beach. And before you guys leave, don't forget to check out these videos on another great spot to visit in California. And if you decide to come stay here because of our video, say hi to Jay and Nicole, they were very helpful. And let them know that you are there because of those bros Salve adventures. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those bros, we, we out. out.